Are you house hunting this weekend? Now, I know that uh, some lovely new houses are being built soon, sort of prime location, green land, but the houses will be built here. Now, this is on the site of Holloway Prison, where Britain's most infamous women killers have been jailed and hanged. Could you live with the horrors that haunt Holloway? Well, <laughs> goals? I'd like to think that, you know, it's a nice house and we need, we need more houses. Uh, but I just think if you know that somebody's been murdered there or hung there, it's bad energy. I mean, there's people in your life that bring you good energy, people bring you bad energy. If there's a house where lots of people have been killed, then ergo, I think there must be lots of bad energy there. So although I think, yeah, you know, we need to buy these mm. houses, I don't think I could. Well, with regards to, to Holloway, uh, uh, the, the estate agents say that the site works extremely well for housing because you can get a, a serious number of private and affordable homes built on it. We do have a housing crisis. Are, are we just being too picky? Well, well uh, go on. No, I was just going to say, I really wouldn't want to live anywhere where Myra Hindley or Rose West has lived. Yeah. And they've yeah. lived there. It's just like, it's just, it, no, no matter what, how nice the housing's going to be, you still would yeah. be sitting in your house thinking of all the people that have been there before, all the misery and all the heartache and, and all of those terrible murderers mm -hmm. have been. So, no, I personally wouldn't like to live there. And I know we need housing and everything. Yeah. And obviously some people will live there. And it's, it's quite close to me, Holloway. It's quite famous where yeah. we live and that. But, um, no, I won't. I mean, it's a place of historical resonance. So that's where many of the, the suffragettes who fought yeah. so hard for us to have the, the, the equality and the status that we do now, that's, that's where, where they, they were kept. So, I mean, obviously, you, you mentioned Rose West and Myra Hindley. There's also women who fought for us to mm, be able to yeah. buy our own houses and have the freedom to do that. Would, yeah. would that not and make a difference for us? who really... I mean, she murdered her boyfriend, but it was a sort of cream passionelle, really. I yeah. mean, she did it out of, you know, just a sort of rage and pain, you know, so... You can't really put her in the same context, mm. I don't think, with people like Myra Hindley and Rose West. Okay. But it's, it's, it, for me, it's completely irrational because this is going to be raised to the ground and new houses yeah. are going to be built. But uh, a, I have a friend, well, an ex-friend that went to Holloway, and um, <laughs> <laughs> she was led astray. And um, I have to say, I was fascinated hearing all her stories about in there. And you know, we know that an awful women are more, far more likely to be sent to prison than men for the same crime. The most, a lot of women are put into, were put into those prisons and the most awful things mm -hmm. happen. And I have always had this irrational fear that I'm going to end up in prison one day. <laughs> <laughs> I have nightmares about it. When I go to, whenever I go to America, Mark, Mark, <laughs> Mark's always like, I know what you're thinking, I know what you're thinking. I'm going to get arrested. When we get there, I'm going to get arrested. I'm going to get thrown into jail and I'm never going to come out. And I think in a past life, I was once in prison. And I was tortured in a basement. I've got this obsession. And Mark went, no, you were the torturer. And <laughs> So I know, even if those flashy apartments were up for a tenner, yeah. I would not buy one and live on because I think it would just haunt me. Wow. And all the misery in those walls. If you think of all those women yeah. that may have been wrongly imprisoned, the, the, the fights that I've heard about that went on in there, you know, mm. the suicides. The, and I just, think, I just think that that amount of upset mm. somehow stays you know yeah, it's just in it, the wall yeah yeah, yeah. Mm. even though they're knocking the walls that's what i'm saying is irrational because the walls are going to be knocked yeah, down yeah. i just i no. mean you look at the house where De dennis nielsen lived and it's a lovely little house in london but when you know what happened in there yeah that's not an offer at the it moment. It is, and, you know, and somebody's made an offer. I think, I think so, yeah. yeah. It's the right move. So, and, I mean, look, we, we're obviously, we were talking about, about Holloway, and that will be raised to the ground and, uh, you know, flats built there. Rose West's house was... That, that was completely demolished. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. uh, this house, Dennis Nilsson's house, is staying exactly as, as is. Um, so you would be buying the house where, where murders were committed. Yeah, and they were murdered in the garden. They put, he put parts of their bodies through their pipes yeah. and everything. I mean, it's the most horrific place. That there's no way that, you know, any of us well, would I mean, we're all feeling, you know, horrified by that and, then, and a, a little bit sick by it, but obviously there, there are some people who are incredibly fascinated by, by yeah. properties that have history, yeah. like Holloway and, yeah. and, and, and like this one. Yeah. Not I something think Linda's right. It's a personal thing as well. It's, it's how you feel about living somewhere where yeah. something appalling has happened. And if it resonates with you, then you have to go with your gut instinct. Well, very quickly, a friend of mine was selling her house recently and, the, you know, the survey's done like it's always done. And um, uh, about a week or so later, she got a knock on the door and a man came and said, I'm here to do the survey. She said, oh, it's, it's been done already. No, I'm here to do the happiness survey.
<laughs> oh, okay, unusual. And um, she let him in, and apparently he went round the house, and he was there to make sure that the house felt happy. Because yeah. a lot of the time, when you do buy a property, it's about how it feels. Well, it's not you like... feel it yourself. Go with someone else to feel it. <laughs> I don't know. Is that a consultant? Is that a thing? I mean, all things. Is that, that a thing? thing? <laughs> yeah. Well, there, there we go.